All right, hey guys. Um, so today uh, will be your test day over chapter one. Um, so at the beginning of class, make sure you take some time to review uh, what we, we've talked about as far as the history of unmanned aircraft systems and the, the wars uh, that, that influenced the technology development um, and, and some of the early uh, unmanned aerial systems that, that came out of those wars. Um, so, so go back through our discussion questions, look over those, um, check that out, uh, review your um, review that we've already done. Uh, some things you might want to make sure of uh, is that the Wright brothers completed their first flight in 1903. Otto Lilienthal was killed in an experimental glider accident in 1896. Um, the rudder is used for yaw control. Uh, World War I pushed the airplane into rapid development as a useful tool. Um, Nikola Tesla is recognized as the real inventor of the modern radio. <clears throat> um, in 1916, uh, Sperry developed the unmanned aerial torpedo for the U.S. Navy. Um, most of the aviation efforts in unmanned aircraft um, did not occur after World War II. When was the first unsuccessful unmanned flight? It was 1918. Uh, the Vietnam War is the conflict in which the military first used radar decoys. And nearly 90% of unmanned aircraft are involved in some form of data gathering in the military, law enforcement, and environmental monitoring arenas. Um, so those are some things you want to uh, might pay attention to, take special note of. Uh, but again, check over your review questions, the discussion questions, and then do the test. Uh, once you're done with the test, uh, go ahead and get started with Chapter 2. Start reading that and looking at those discussion questions, or at least familiarize yourself with the discussion questions. Um, so whenever uh, you get done reading and we get to that, the discussion section, you'll be good to go for that. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, reach out to me. Uh, let me know. I'm going to start having digital office hours for those of y'all that aren't able to be in the classroom um, so we can chat and, and deal with any issues you might be having. Um, and then I'm always available during eighth period on B days, the, the flex period. Um, but, but I'm at Northside for that. So if you're a Southside student and need to get with me, um, let me know so I can make the arrangements um, to be there uh, for at least a day. Uh, that's all I've got for you for now. Uh, until then, take care, be safe, stay well. Um, stay safe, be well, and I'll see you later.